good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are anywhere in the world so uh, there is a breaking news uh, from the georgian embassy so i thought i should share you guys about um, the new information that um, that i got so i'm going to dive straight into it so the first information i got is students who want to come to georgia has, has to get vaccinated they have to get um, the covid vaccine and uh, they have to present the vaccination card at um, to the immigration officer at the airport so that is the first thing and um, they have to take their second shot 14 days before they depart their country so um, not only just getting the vaccination card you have to have been vaccinated 14 days before you depart from uh, your country that is you, you must have taken the second shot before you depart from your country so if you come to georgia if you arrive in tbilisi georgia without being vaccinated or without the vaccination card you will not be allowed to uh, enter the territory of georgia that is the first information i would like to share you guys so the second information is about uh, the Georgian student visa application. The embassy is asking students to not only submit their applications online, they also have to uh, send their documents to the um, authorized Georgian embassy or to the Georgian embassy uh, near them. So that is the new development now. So for example, if you submitted your, um, your visa application online, you still ha also have to send documents to the Georgian embassy in your country or the Georgian embassy designated to your country. So I'm going to sh uh, share you guys again to tell you guys about the uh, required documents to apply for um, the Georgian st student visa. So the first one is the ministry order, also known as the ministry decree. You have to get the ministry decree from the Ministry of Education. So after the ministry decree, also you need to get the invitation from the university, invitation letter, accommodation letter from the university, your admission letter, um, entry permit, the university will assist you in getting their entry permit, police reports, medical reports, um, insurance, and also COVID insurance, police character reports, and also your, your visa um, fee receipt. So after submitting all these documents online you need to um, print out the application document the generated e-application document you also have to sign it and also scan it back so when you sign it then you attach it to uh, your online application and submit so when you submit your application successfully you are expected to also send your document to the embassy submit your, your document to the embassy so if you don't have the georgian embassy in your country uh, you have to uh, DHL or send it through a courier service to any designated Georgian embassy. So it's very, very important for you to do. So without this, they will never attend to your uh, application. So another information I also want to share with you guys is um, for you guys that have the, um, the visa of other countries, for example, the US visa, the UK visa or Schengen visa. So you guys are Schengen visa plus also uh, the Dubai visa. You guys are allowed to come to Georgia as tourists or visitors, but not as students. So if you come to Georgia as a student with uh, Schengen visa or tourist visa or Schengen visa, UK visa, US visa or Dubai visa, you will not be eligible to apply for the um, temporary resident permit. So you're going to struggle. So the new rule, which took effect from the 22nd of March 2021, says that every non-immigrant that comes to Georgia with a visitor's type of visa has to go back to their country within three months of arrival into Georgia, of arriving in Georgia. And these aliens will not be eligible to apply for uh, the resident permit. So if you're a student coming to Georgia to study, you have to come with a student visa. It's absolutely essential, compulsory to come. Otherwise, you will not be eligible to apply for uh, the resident permit. 
and you are going to be illegal after three months of arrival so finally guys if you have any question uh, do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section i'm so sorry for the noise and um please let me know in the comment section and uh, also you are going to see my contacts on your screen right now so if you have any question you can feel free to send me email you can also contact me on instagram it's written on the screen and uh, let me know uh, and in case you're kind of confused and you don't know about you don't know how to go about the whole process you can reach out to me um on maybe via instagram or via my email it's written on the screen now uh, reach out to me and let me know if you want us to assist you in uh, getting admission or to process the visa let me know in the comment section or in, in my inbox so thank you very much and uh, please share this video and don't forget to um, to like share and also subscribe thank you very much and see you in the next one